No one. I'll leave you be. Blake looks like a One Piece character this time around. <laughs> I'm kind of digging it. But, uh, fair warning. These trips can be awfully boring. <laughs> Is this what Blake's going to do for the entire arc? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a boat. Cat on a boat. So, uh, Nolan, uh, what did we just watch? We just watched... Chapter 3. Ruby, Chapter 3, Episode... Th volume, volume 4. Volume 4. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. If I recall, it's like of Runaways and Stowaways. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this was definitely like uh, focused on not just Blake, actually, but also Yang as well. Uh, I think it was more heavy on Blake's side of things, where you see her like on, her, on this boat... Uh, she's all by herself, and someone's tracking her. Turned out that was just Sun. Mm. Not gonna touch it's that. It's not very effective. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there we go. Called it. Son. Because he was worried, and also wanted to, to make sure that she had like a fighting partner. I really like the the um. Like, they don't really have chemistry, but they also have, like, the thing where they're very different from each other. Yeah. So I'm hoping that they develop some chemist some sort of chemistry, like, later on. They did do a nod in Volume 3 that she does like Sun, just, you know, not too interested. <laughs> she just has a strange way of showing it. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was unwarranted. <laughs> well, Blake Blake has never really been, like, too straightforward about her feelings unless it in involved seafood. That's, yeah. Like, in which case she just completely loses her shit. Or, like, it's about the wife thing, and that's already, like, like off topic. That's yeah. like, don't touch. Oh, geez, like, she's messed up about that. Yeah. I mean, I am gonna see, like, what happens with the white fang now that, like, Roman... Is completely out of the picture. Yeah. Unless. Well, Adam's still there, so he's probably he's holding up. Yo, know, I don't care. He's... Well, Adam can die. Like Adam, <laughs> like Adam can never be in the series again, and I don't care. I hate that guy. Yeah, he's he's a jerk. He's just he's just lame. It's like nothing matters now, my love. <laughs> oh. He's the worst. I, You know, I actually thought I was going to love him. I thought he was going to be one of my favorite characters. But then he showed up and he's so dumb. I don't like him at all. And then then what he did in the story already, like... Yeah, you, you can't really go back from there. It's going to be very satisfying to see him get what's coming to him. Yeah, can't wait for that. Although I think that's going to wait for like another volume or something like that. I wonder if we're ever going to see what's underneath his mask. Probably yeah, in the last but, fight or something. Yeah, last like fight. Definitely the opening kind of foretells Zach happening. As far as like a final from con confrontation. Um, uh, but yeah, aside from uh, Blake's story, there's also Yang, who we're just getting like an idea of like how she like holding up after like that fight months later. All attempts to bring him into custody have been met with brutal force. Yeah, probably best to put that down. Yeah, yikes. It's kind of a hot button issue. Still getting by. Nope, no, no, I take all that back. Jeez, she's really taking a beating. Yeah, not she ain't she ain't doing so well, but I mean, I believe she'll be okay, yeah, and it'll be really good to see. Yeah, she's definitely lost like a lot of her energy throughout, but she still like functions, although has a, like a slight case of like post traumatic stress disorder. Or yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I think that she she's really going to be the comeback kid. Uh, there's no way they can just take take away her confidence and then not have her bounce back twice as hard. Mm -hmm. And I think that whenever she does come out, she'll come out swinging, mm -hmm. and it'll be really cool to see. Yeah. So, believe in Yang. I want to know um, if she's ever going to use that, like, prosthetic arm. <gasps> Yo! Look at that! She's probably not happy about it, though. You know, it would be really cool if she decided not to. Uh... 
but we shall certainly see or like what if she decides to use it and she like doesn't like the way it makes her feel yeah um i don't know they really could go a lot of different ways with yang all i know is that i uh i'm excited either way Mm -hmm. this this volume is turning out to be very cool yeah it's like doing the right it's it's focusing on the right things to build build itself up up upon and um uh another thing that happened in the uh episode was like the fight with that sea dragon that can also fly as well i love the voice actor for this uh captain guy yeah he's got a lot of zeal a lot of spirit a lot of spunk whoa whoa Gross! Oh man, nasty! I was wondering about how like Grim would interact when it comes to, like water because that seemed to be like something that they weren't really akin to. And then we see this Grim, so it's like okay, so the variance in Grim is massive, and so no one's safe. I'm waiting to see some like deep sea underwater Grim that are like the Guardians from Minecraft, like some oh, just yeah. fuck huge enormous sea fish. Yeah. Maybe later on, I have no idea, like, what kind of context would cause, like, Team Ruby or Team Whatever Huntsman to go in the depths of water for whatever reason. Yeah. Are there any, are Faunus all based on mammalian creatures, or are there, like, aquatic and, like, avian varieties of Faunus? Maybe? I don't know. I haven't seen one yet. I like to say I've seen something reptilian. Maybe. Mm. I think maybe it was like from a previous episode, maybe. That would be cool to see like an Argonian type of faunus or something okay. like that. But I'm not going to hold my breath. It may very well have uh, like Zootopia syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> like we're just going to pull it back just a little it's bit. It's like no birds, no reptiles, just mammals and only some of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, like, let's keep it as simple as that. But uh, yeah, um... I'm trying to think of anything else I want to point out. I definitely like the music on Blake's side. They uh, show like kind of a remix, but also like a new like song for Blake. This remix though. That's oh, a new cool. song. All right, all right. <laughs> Truly, and you were right about that outfit. She looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. They made her boobs bigger. I think they made Weiss's boobs apparent. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just like everybody is beautiful, Justin. They are. You're I'm part just... of the problem. <laughs> I am part of that problem. But yeah, like, I know. Like her original design, like you didn't really see much like a chest area there. It seemed like she was going to be like like one of those characters, like out of the, the group of girls who had like the smallest. Yeah. But now it's like, okay, well, at least we we kind of see it now. So. No, I just noticed, like, they... Something about every character model, like, they're they're more, uh... In, in the beginning of the series, it, it seems like they were using a lot of the same character models that they just very slightly edited and gave them, like, different mm. hair and clothes. Yeah. In this one, everyone has, like, um, like, very different... Like, people actually look different from each other now, mm-hmm. which is really cool to see. Like, I feel like they they look now how they were meant to in concept, and mm-hmm. they can actually afford to do that now. So it's really cool to see, like, how, like, because before, the only character who had, like, dominant badonkadonk was Blake, and that... Uh, donk donk No, oh, Yang. Yang. Yeah, it was Yang, and, like, that was obvious like they put it out there and like now the varying different body types are much more apparent Mm -hmm. so everything about this volume is turning out Mm -hmm. super great yeah (sighs) thinking about other things i don't know i think i'm just kind of out of it for this particular discussion video i think like they're kidding i think a lot of our energy like from the last one is is still there and like i'm still trying to recover you got this I don't know, like, you. what else is there to talk about for this one? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things, because, like... We, we can talk like, about Sun's abs. Yeah, they're not... L- I feel like they're less, um... Just there. Like, there's not hard lining on them. Yeah, they look kind of painted on the last volume. <laughs> yeah. And so now, it, like, it looks normal now. Yeah. His weapon is so cool. I love how even when it's in staff mode, you can still see the triggers. Yeah. 
There was a lot more design on it, too, for this one. Yeah, and the way that they're using their uh, semblances this time around yeah. is, like, way... Very creative. It's it's kind of made me a little bit, little bit more lost on, like, how they actually work. Because initially, I thought, like, for Blake's semblance, it was um, not too much, like, physical objects, but, like, a placeholder. Like, a substitution in case of, like, something happening. Yeah. Otherwise, they are just, like... They're just like aspir like aspirations of like that person. Okay, so the difference between Blake's semblance and uh Sun's semblance is basically the difference between a like it's basically the difference between a substitution jutsu technique mm-hmm. and like Naruto Shadow Clones. I would say that, yeah. But then like remember like when uh Blake gave herself an extra edge, like when she was like flying in the air? She had another like clone of hers, like, like give her a little bit more speed. Yeah. Send her off. That's where I got confused. Like, if you can like interact with them like that without any kind of dust involved. Well, can Blake ever make more than one substitute? Has she done that yet? Has she made more than one? No. Okay, that might be the difference. Is the fact she can only do like one at a time. Yeah, and like I haven't seen Sun's semblance like change its form yeah it's only ever shown up as being like another version of him Mm -hmm. so it really is the difference between like naruto shadow clones and then like like a standard like substitution substitution jutsu like the log right 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 log (laughs) the log i do um i think i do like blake's better because I, i can see like more like what you can mess around with as far as dust i think like sun's is a little I'm not sure how it'd even work. Well, I'm sure that now that he's going to be, like, a much bigger part of the story, mm-hmm. we'll definitely get to see, like, how his power works and stuff. But mm-hmm. I think as far as semblance goes, I think the biggest question on anybody's mind is Jean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? Jean is my you... favorite boy character, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Ironwood. Uh, and this Crow, too. Um... And Crow. Uh why must you make this so hard? Why are all the boys in this show so perfect? There's, they're, they're so real. If they're not, they're just so cool enough to be like you wish they were part of your life anyway. I would, I would make Ironwood my husband overnight. <laughs> I'd cut my left ball off if I could just have Crow as my uncle too. I could cut, I, uh, I'd cut <laughs> off my balls if Ironwood would make me new ones that were twice as twice their size. <laughs> Pure Atlas tech. Right, yeah. Like it's in like how like Ironwood is like a cyborg. Like he's so cool. Yeah, and he's such an awesome guy. Like he's kind of dumb, but and he can come off as like not friendly, especially with Volume Two. But yeah, he's like he's genuinely a good. guy. He has everyone's good intentions in in his heart. With his and that's what counts. With his gun, that's also a gun. <laughs> His gun that's also a gun. Yeah. I love movie. that thing about that. It's got right. two triggers on it. But yeah, I think that we're good. We're there. coming down to the end? Yeah. All right. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Hashtag bye. So I try to find this audacity thing right here. Yeah. Stop. So if you're not going after the white fang. This might be the wrong time to say this. But I really like Sun's kicks. I kind of want them. <laughs>